Oh, we don't care about that. Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil Tangled Web Episode 10. Let's continue, shall we? And we just linked up. <laughs> he never got the hint. What a drag. Maybe he's already taken, Jessica. Yeah, sure. Can we get started already? Sure. We've been through hell before. It's nothing new for us. Yeah, just like old times. The good old FBC. Hmm. Well, so long, Raymondo. Okay. So, what's the plan? Get to the bridge, activate the bulwarks. And, and they catch me out. Sinking. Now that the power's back, we should be able to access the maintenance system. Right. Okay. We should split up then. There's something I need to check on first. Okay, fine. I'll see you on the bridge. Right, well, looks like she's gonna disappear on us. That's fine. Didn't really want her stinking up the place anyway, to be honest. God, she's such an unlikable character. Um, yeah, we can't actually search that. So, we need to go to the bridge. You can hear my cat meowing his brains out. He does this. He's starting to do this quite a lot. I'm not really sure why he does this. But there we go. Now, the bridge. So, we can go back through the cafeteria, which is probably a good idea. I'm hoping we won't come across too many nasties because of course we are very limited with our equipment here. No idea why that cat just goes crazy. Silly buoy. Okay, so I haven't actually played this game for quite a while now um, because I've been completing uh, oh, we could go up through there, actually. Yeah, I've basically been completing Skies of Arcadia. And I can't actually believe I've completed that game. <laughs> kind of um, it was a long, long, long time coming. But, uh, oh, hey, Rachel. Now, we could potentially kill Rachel for some extra parts and things, I think. But uh, there's no point. Now, it doesn't really matter which way we go, she's going to be following us either way, so... Oh, hi. That was unfortunate now, wasn't it? <laughs> Turn the corner into three exploding... Three exploding boys. Well... Welcome back to Infernal Difficulty, I suppose. Uh, I guess we could try going back through this way. Sure. But... Oh! Rachel is indeed here as well, because of course she is. Now, what have we got to worry about here? Okay, lots of explody boys. And Rachel is also back, but hopefully we can just squeeze past. Not happening, is it? Nope, that's fine. Oh, that explody boy, we can just sneak through. Alright. Okay, he's melted. Now, we do have a slight problem here. We need to get rid of you. Like so. Potentially, yeah, we'll get some health. I suppose. Or at least work towards getting some health, I should say. Right. Now, hopefully, we can just shoot up here. Not sure what we would get for killing Rachel as Parker. At the bridge. I'm already here. I'm going to start lowering the bulwarks. That was fast. Hmm. You're just slow, and you owe me another dinner. Uh, I don't think Never so. Never got you that drink. That was a year ago. That's fine. You can make it all up to me in one big spending spree. Nah. <laughs> okay, fine. Just sit tight, and I'll be there soon. Yeah, I'd save your money, Parker. To be honest. But hey, that's just me. 
Right. Oh, hi. I guess we'll try and put this thing down. Now, luckily, these guys don't have huge amounts of health. Oh. Oh, you son of a bitch. Yeah, these guys don't have silly amounts of health on... Um, I guess when you're on B scenarios, we kind of run out of area to back off into. So when you're controlling partner characters, they really do limit how much health and shit the enemies have, which is nice. They still do stupid amounts of damage, as we can see. But because our weapons don't get leveled up or scale at all, um, they're not that cruel. Hold it right there. Harker? A spy has infiltrated the BSAA. Morgan's more. And it may be you. It may be. That's what Raymond told me. What are you talking about? We don't have time to... Parker, subdue that woman. Raymond? How? Oh. But you... You were... <laughs> She's trying to activate the ship's self-destruct mechanism to destroy the evidence. What? <laughs> Guys, this is getting out of hand. Not funny. Come on. Say something. Parker, it's me. I can't trust you completely. Not yet. Put your gun down, Raymond. Yeah, you're too soft. Don't be fooled, Parker. Yeah, he's way too soft. Seriously stupid, then. Idiots. I knew O'Brien had a lap dog. I'll tell Morgan it was you. <laughs> Jessica! Don't worry about dinner. Now we're even. I'm sorry, Parker. Yeah, I mean, it was kind of obvious. What can you go? Like, she is impossible to like. Never have we ever had such an unlikable character in Resident Evil. Well, you know, apart from Ashley, Steve, Jake. Alright, fine. Maybe we've had a few. Anywho, yeah, I can't believe that death. That was sly. Never mind. So, let's keep going. That was very short and sweet, wasn't it? She chooses. It, it's just a ship, dude. Piece of metal. Checkmate. It appears my bright young assistant has made the last move. Now, have I made things clear to you? Clear as day. Now we finally have a target. Start counting, Morgan. <laughs> Love, Chris. Not the most original last words, but best of luck, gentlemen. Well, you're actually kind of a pathetic villain, so... <laughs> Chris and his outfit. Right, let's go. Right. First, we gotta get out of here. Oh, yeah. We're out. Now, I can't remember when the countdown starts, but... I don't think it's quite yet. We've got pretty much all of our weapons ready to go. Oh god. That's not great. 
Yeah, we're on it. We're on it. We're coming, Hattrick. Just, uh, you know, wait for us, will ya? Don't pull a Brad. Oh, I suppose technically Brad did come back for us. So, eh, maybe we should stop ragging on Chicken Heart. But then that's kind of been retconned a little bit anyway with the remakes. He wasn't exactly the chicken he was made out to be in the prior games. Which is fine. Kind of doesn't make sense for him to be such a coward if he's part of this super uber special forces team. But then, yeah. The explosions have started. We're out of time. I'm jumping down. I suppose there's a lot of strangeness to be fair. In the Resident Evil Stars team. Yeah, when you consider Rebecca is supposed to be what, like 17, 18, and she's like the chief mechanic of the game. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's just silly nonsense. Which is fine. We like silly nonsense in our games. To a point, anyway. We don't like motorbikes jumping through exploding scaffolding and riding up walls and. Uh, I don't mind if I do. Okay. So this is where things get a little bit rough. And I'm assuming they're going to be ten times rougher on this difficulty. Wait for me, Chris. I've only got slender, thin legs. You can't all run on massive, great big fucking turkey kebab steaks. Uh, yeah, his... Oh, hey, Parker. Funny meeting you here. Parker. Oh. Hi, dear. Can you stand, Parker? Yeah. Right, let's go, Parker. Yeah, man. I guess we can only use our pistol here after all. She's working for Morgan. <gasps> Not Jessica. Jessica. Of all the people it could have been to betray us, Jessica. Surely not. She was such a nice woman. Okay. Past that. Nope, let's turn this boat around. Can't we turn it off or something? Yes, we're going to turn it off, Parker. One thing at a time. Bullet wound appears to be affecting your brains. Alright. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, hi, sir. Ow. Don't get cocky. Who's carrying your ass, boy? Honestly. Can't use the scanner magic either, so we might be able to use grenades, maybe. Ha! Huh, didn't think about grenades. Yeah, I always forget about grenades in this game. It's probably a rookie error on my part. Yeah, Chris, uh, bad guys. Don't want to worry you or anything, Chris, but you know. You're supposed to be looking after me, not the other way around. Ooh. It's alright, Chris. I'll shoot the big, explosive red barrels. I guess when you've got arms and legs like that, you don't really have a lot of space in your body for brains. Oh, I can hear zombies. Or, oh, sorry, oozes. Uh, Chris, you're literally blocking me from moving backwards. You're not very good at this escort thing, are you? Chris, we may not. Yeah, I know. But we're not leaving behind. Nope, we don't leave people Chris, behind. You don't need all that blood in your body, do you, Raymond? Uh, you're not Raymond, are you? You're Parker. I would say that shows how little I care about the supporting cast in this game, but Parker's not bad. Parker. 
just not my night. Damn it! Good times, Jill. It was a nice ride. What? See you guys. Damn, son. See, if that was law accurate, Chris could have just lifted him up with one little finger we have to go. and carried him over his shoulders yeah, whilst running at max speed. I mean, of course, if we're talking Resident Evil 5 law accurate anyway. Here we go. Three minutes. Nice, I'll take the herb. Hey friend, I didn't see you hiding up there. Yep, yeah, as you can see, now that we have full access to all of our weapons, our gun's gone back to being a little pea shooter. Okay, let's go. No more pissing around. Come on, boys. Don't think that's really going to help us out much, is it? Oh, missed the... Missed the uh, timing on that one completely. <laughs> That's fine. You can strafe using A and D. Um, wow, thanks, game. Whatever would I do without your tool tips? All right, let's try that again. Okay. Right, run. Damn it. That's not running. Get up, Jill. Thank you. Okay. Now, interestingly enough there, when we are actually on the valve, you can't use health. <laughs> Which was news to me. I thought we could still pop health when we're on the valve, but no. Alright, we're going to have to take this guy down. That's fine. I was hoping we could just leave him there, but... Uh, He's just going to be a monumental pain in the buttocks. So, let's take out these guys first. Um, okay. Well, apparently he's not here this time. Nope, there he is. He just didn't spawn. Which is really odd. Like, really odd. Alright, let's take this guy down. I guess that's why we don't use grenades, because they don't do much. And thanks for stun locking me in the corner, douche. Uh, right, you need to be dead, because you're really screwing me over. Man, those things are savage. Oh, that's not what we wanted to do. Dude, right, so he took nearly a third of our time to kill. And now we have to do awesome QTEs. Just what you want. Wiggle your mouse around for reasons. Is it immersion? I think I think that's their excuse, isn't it? Immersion? Right. Guess what we could use here? We could get some decoys out. Decoys might be just what the doctor ordered. Great. Need to shoot him. Oh, cool. Great. Lovely. Chris, the big monster in front of us. Maybe you might want to shoot it. Just a suggestion. At least pretend that you're helping. You don't actually have to help, just pretend. Good lord. Oh, well, this is going to be awkward. Or, well, I guess that could have been way more awkward than it actually was. That could have been really uncomfortable. 
luckily he's disappeared. Almost there, Chris. Let's get it. Kershier, are you both good? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we're both good. We're both absolutely peachy. And now we're going to run up a vertical climb. Now this is more uh, part of Chris's tool set. Although, I... Yeah, I really suck at avoiding these things, by the way. They're really hard to judge where they're, where they're actually coming from. And we're out of time anyway. Yeah. See, there was literally nowhere we could have gone there to avoid that one. So what we're going to need to do, because we're about to die, we're going to need to get past that main guy, that main shark dude, a lot faster. He's our biggest obstacle here, but that's fine. We can deal with him. We're just going to use some decoys. Almost there, oh. Chris. Starts us here? question is, it starts us here, but do we actually have, like, enough time to do this? That's kind of annoying. I don't know if it's actually given us more time. Uh, logic would say that they, they're they not going to give us a checkpoint where we don't have enough time to continue, but... That's my logic, not game logic. Right. I mean, I guess we could probably shoot those barrels, thinking about it. Not sure, though. Right, I think we literally only have to get to that doorway. Which is fine. Oh, dear. Uh, or maybe not, you know. I don't know if we're supposed to just walk through that hole. Or... Yeah, you can technically destroy those. Good to know. I guess. Holding F will power up your... Physical attacks. Well, gee, game. Thanks for that useful tip bit of information there. I'm sure it will serve us well. Right, let's try that again. We'll shoot the barrels this time. Apparently, that's the thing we can do. Although, not convinced that's actually any quicker than taking the hit, but what do I know? Now that's quicker than taking the hit. Alright, let's keep going. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Yep. Not. Oh, that kills you in one. So I'm guessing we have to go the other side of it? You know, the other side where there's no space to go through? Question mark? Okay. Whatever you say, game. Here we go. Alright, let's aim for the barrels. Shoot the barrels. Shoot the red barrels. And reload. Make sure we've got five chances to hit the barrels. Well, okay. We technically only had to hit one of the barrels. So we need to go this way, apparently. Because the other way we get squished. Yep, alright. Cool, I guess. Oh, hi. There's more barrels that came out of nowhere, apparently. Alright, almost there. Almost there. And we didn't waste a herb either, which is nice. Oh no, I just remembered the bit we're on. Yeah. Oh. We're on a this boss is awful as well. Absolutely awful. Pilot! Don't worry 
about her later. Yeah, <laughs> no time for tears. Yeah. We actually have like a time limit, I believe, to do this as well. Which makes things extra anus. Um oof. Yeah, I'm not surprised we got a B rank. How many times did we die? Five, yeah. Or six in total so far. Oof, that's rough. Uh, we literally only have the boss to do next, so I think we'll continue. You really don't need to tell us what we previously did, game. This is Hatfrid. Do you read? Extraction is not possible at this time. I'll execute a holding pattern. Patrick, out. Now, there's actually an achievement here. Created. We're taking this thing out with that rocket launcher. Um, and I can't honestly remember if I've done that. But here's the thing, we actually got a time limit here. So, yep, it is being controlled by parasites. So we've got to kill these giant parasites. We've got a few minutes to do it in. And on this difficulty, this is one of the prime problems that I have with harder difficulties. Uh, all it does, essentially, is put all the stats up. I dropped off some ammo for you. Thank you. And that is a really dull, unfun way to handle difficulty. Right, so let's get you. Now he's going to... Oh, yeah, I forgot you had to drop your gun. No, we don't want that. We really don't want to be wasting like what little rifle ammo that we have left. going to have to keep going the best we can with what we've got. Should really potentially change weapons. Now, in a minute, he should drop us another RPG. I off some ammo for you. Cheers, buddy. If you could drop off some herbs for us, that would also be great. But, you know, I guess you can't always get what you want, can you? I mean, it's like a boss from a 80s shoot em up. Uh, there we go. Like, what am I even aiming at here? Like, where? Where's the target here? Okay, I guess there's only one and he's over there. I guess. Right, let's try and hit this thing. With the oh no, he's going to come to me. It's pretty nice of him, to be honest. Right, we've got our RPG here. Yeah, really have never liked. I've never liked that boss at all. <clears throat> But in true Resident Evil fashion, of course, the giant meat monster is not done yet. Because, of course, there's another 158,000 of those things in, in its body. There's two Gatling guns on this helicopter with unlimited ammo. Because, hey, just what this game needs another turret section. 
Because we all know how much Resident Evil started to like turrets. Overheating turrets as well. They're the best turrets. Oh yeah, we've also got grenade launchers as well, which we really need. There's also very little feedback with this boss to whether you're actually doing anything, whether you're actually hurting it. I mean, visually, it's pretty cool. But there's so many of these things in it, like these little parasitic worms. That just continuously pour out of it. Forever. It's just, yeah, I don't know. Never was a fan of this bit, looking back. And it's actually aged worse than I remember. But that's okay. That's okay. At least he's not as bad as the final boss. I mean, this thing does kind of look dead. But I guess it's not BSAA dead. Or FBC dead. Or whatever you want to call yourselves these days. Constantly changing the terminology of everything. For reasons. Now, you don't want to let the gun overheat because if you pull the gun down naturally, you can keep firing, but if the gun overheats, you then have to wait a huge amount of time whilst it cools down before you can fire again. I don't know why, it doesn't make any sense, but that's Resident Evil logic. Okay, we are almost dead. Kind of reluctant to pop a herb here. But that's okay. Yeah, and sometimes you'll get sections like this where they, the parasites are just immune, even to grenades. And grenades should be a one-hit kill. But that's okay. I ain't mad. I'm not even mad. Well, that one worked. Okay, yeah, see. The invulnerability is over now. Oh, we actually died. I was too reluctant to use a herb. And it, it, yeah, that's kind of strange as well. Just the fact that the helicopter's health is tied to our health. But, eh, uh, that's kind of standard for these sort of sections, I suppose. Oh, just get on with it, dude. Just get on with it. Get us in there. Now these grenades do reload after a while. Although it says you have three, you actually have unlimited. I wouldn't say no to another Resident Evil light gun game actually. Dark Side Chronicles is actually pretty pretty good. And the Umbrella Chronicles as well. Just wish there was an easier way of playing them these days. But I guess it's gonna. Well, I mean, I've got them on the Wii. Um, and I guess we could try emulating them at one at, at one point, I suppose. But we'll probably just play them on the Wii, to be honest. Because emulating Wii motes and all that kind of stuff, uh, I can imagine that being questionable. But who knows? Maybe that's something we'll look at down the line. I never actually finished the um, Dark Side Chronicles and the Umbrella Chronicles. We did actually get pretty bloody close at one point. But I found the accuracy of the Wii mode was lacking, to say the least. It just, it's not like a light gun. Not at all. It's close, I suppose. It's probably the best we could have hoped for, but it's, yeah, really, really not where it needed to be. Because you have to be surprisingly accurate with a lot of Dark Siders Chronicles, especially with some of the fast-moving boss fights. <clears throat> but it had loads of cool stuff in it, like upgrading your weapons and um, loads of cool little Easter eggs and stuff. 
Odd that they never really brought them back out. I mean, I guess we could always get the PlayStation Move versions for the PS3. I never really used the PlayStation Move. I don't know uh, how that compares. I always remember at the time, although people ragged on PlayStation Move, it was supposed to be a lot more accurate than the Wiimote. I mean, it, I guess it couldn't. It couldn't have been worse than the Wiimote. Personally, I always thought that was the worst controller ever constructed by man. Never once got them working properly. Yeah, something about the Wiimote, the way it just... There was always a tiny, tiny bit of lag to it as well. And wherever you aimed was slightly off. Um, yeah, weird. Did we kill it? Don't be stupid. This thing has plot armor. I suppose it isn't quite as um, unsatisfying as the T-Rex. Ooh. There we go. Come on. There we go. Oh, F to fire for some reason. <laughs> okay, sure. Yeah, it's not quite as unsatisfying as the T-Rex in Resident Evil 6. That was just a chore. And that's all she wrote for the Zenobia. It's me. What's happening? On our way out. We lost Parker. Jessica took the whole ship down. The FBC? Well, Morgan. He was one step ahead of us the whole way. Yes, I see. Nah. I hate to think this could all be a mistake. My mistake. Come clean with us, O'Brien. Don't leave anything out. All right. It all started one year ago. The right big twist. The big twist that the evil science gnome is actually evil. Maybe actually got good accuracy there. Right, so I think it's a good time as any to leave it. We've only got two chapters left, and the final chapter is actually really short, um, from what I can remember anyway. And I actually think the next two chapters are pretty damn short. So we should hopefully be able to finish this game pretty quickly. The only barrier that we're going to have, and it's a big barrier, it's going to be the final boss. The final boss in this game is, <sighs> on normal difficulty, he's a giant dick penis man. Um, on this difficulty, I've heard that he is rage inducing. So there's going to be that. I mean, he is just a humongous bullet sponge. And on this difficulty, all they've done is like quadrupled his stats, basically, and made him a lot quicker. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so he could be a barrier, but apart from that, I think we're not doing too bad. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and as always, till next time.